originally to adopt established the people of Nigeria. Chancellor, good afternoon. Good morning, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and hello, my dear colleagues. Greetings, Tapokite. Greetings, Tapokite. Greetings, Tapokite. This is probably the largest audience I've ever spoken to, and I'd like to take a moment to appreciate the leadership of the university for giving the privilege to speak to this esteemed audience today. So, the lovely cameraman, please, you must not waste this opportunity. Make sure you are getting my hands right. And I've titled my speech, Championing Residents, a toast to the class of 2021 2022. Can we simplify if we spend more time in a tertiary institution than in secondary school? I'll be graduating in 2024. <laughs> I'd have thought such a person would not mean me well. However, if someone had told me then that I'll be addressing the entire University of Lagos at the Valedictorian, I'd have thought that that was what he told me. But here I am, more than seven years from my high school graduation, graduating as the world's best graduating student in the University of Lagos. I'm not just doing that. Doing so with a complex GP. I think the God will be glory for this amazing thing. The sad thing I want to see on this momentous occasion was this reason. Ultimately, I'm sad to express gratitude. I'll begin by giving thanks to God for the privilege of being able to stand here. Like many have come before me. I never envisioned finishing as a Royal Best Directing student. When I stepped onto this campus, my goals were simple. Work hard to make the first class. And even if I didn't make it, it wouldn't be because I didn't work for it. I'm grateful to God for every opportunity I had to work with them. I'm also grateful to the University of Lagos, the Faculty of Engineering, and the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. Coming to the university, I was prepared for the roller coaster. I knew a lot of people. You know, I really love mathematics in secondary school. And I fell into the trap of thinking that because one is good at mathematics, one should study engineering. Anybody else here? Like me? <laughs> the faculty of engineering was very quick in distinguishing between secondary school mathematics <laughs> and university maths. I remember the calculations in 300 level calculus of several variables. From humongous lab reports to carrying that huge city board around the school to those assignments, all those assignments to the impromptu test and even the exam to go to open with your steel too. Shout out to the graduating class of civil engineering that experienced the struggles of being making it. When you have provided me an enabling platform to develop a team, here I co founded the Students Club in 2019. Called Sustainable Development Advocate, SDA. I later served as SDA's president and worked on various exciting projects, including developing a community based idea to tackle open education in Nigeria, where I competed with 101 campuses across the two nations. It became the first Nigerian idea to be awarded the Million Motions Prize, which came with a seed funding of $2,500. I was also a member of the first quarter of the Million Fellows in the Lab. I still remember walking from hostel to hostel just to get people to apply to make the required court numbers. I had the opportunity to serve as the welfare secretary of my department and I launched virtual YouTube tutorials as a response to the COVID-19 pandemic. I could go on. The point is I've learned from excellent personalities, served with wonderful people and I'm thankful to the university, my faculty and my department for providing me an encouraging environment for growth. My journey was enriched by mentors and good friends. I received tremendous guidance and help, as I had many people to ask questions and seek advice from. I'll specifically mention Bola Jilawal, a first-class alumnus, who took me through the ropes of undergraduate life and education, providing me with materials, and even taking time out to teach me the seemingly complex courses. 
to provide a similar guide for students seeking academic excellence, I penned down a reading book titled Roadmap to 5.0, <laughs> The Motivation to Institute's Academic Success. My goal is to get this book into the hands of young Nigerians, from secondary school students to lower level undergraduates. If you'd like to support this project to donation, I won't get a copy of this book for someone. Can reach out to this email. Roadmap to 5.0 at gmail.com. I would like to thank my scholarship sponsors, NNPC SNEPCO, Lagos Varsity Christian Union, Altbridge Gene Lab and Local Initiative, and the Investing Endowment Team, and all the organizations supporting students for easing the financial burden on our parents and guardians and making our undergraduate scheme less turbulent. I humbly plead to philanthropists to continue to endow into the scholarship scheme of the university. As I conclude, I'd like to appreciate my parents and family for demonstrating their belief in education through their unwavering support to my studies. Professor and Mrs. Akomu, can you please stand up? Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Daddy. To all our parents and guardians who have fully merited the term support systems, even beyond the financial obligations and commitments you've made to us, thank you for recognizing that education is the best legacy and only tool for human capacity building and development in the nation. I say congratulations to you too. May your own good efforts and support bring you more joy through us. Amen. Finally, to my fellow graduates, who have collectively weathered the storm of non-teaching staff strikes, the longest assault strikes, and the COVID-19 pandemic, I recognize you. For all those who contemplated dropping out when the cloud of us identity of strikes over, yes, has dug deep to complete your programs. Congratulations. For those who have to balance work and school just to sustain themselves in this journey, congratulations. To the entire class of 2021 2022, for the, all the highs and lows, the all nighters, the blood, tears, and sweat. Just to end this degree, from the deepest part of my heart, I extend my warmest congratulations to you. As we enter into this new phase of our lives, let us be persistent in our ambitions, seek good advice everywhere we can, and work very hard to achieve our goals. I leave with these words of Henry Ward Beecher hold yourself responsible for a higher standard than anybody else expects of you. Never excuse yourself. Never pity yourself. Be a hard master to yourself and be lenient to everybody else. Sincere thanks to the entire audience for listening to me. Once again, I'm from the family. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.